What's up guys, GameBreaker here with episode number, I think, 7 of Factions, and where the heck am I? I am inside of a base. This is not a base I have raided. I am here with, where'd he go? Ducks can't PvP inside the gangster's base. Um, Ducks actually approached me a couple days ago saying, hey, I really like your, uh, I really like your channel. The videos are cool. How'd you like to uh, join up since I see you don't have a base to live in? And I said, sure, what the heck? I love interacting with you guys. Of course, if you leave comments down below, I'm sure to reply on them and all that. So I said, yeah, you know, why not? We'll go hang out with Ducks, Ken, PvP, and his faction Gangsters. And last night, actually, they got raided. They lost a little bit of their spawners here. And that was pretty much it, though. They actually they got to keep their IG and all the rest of the goodies. So what we're doing now is I'm actually giving him some money to fund digging up the rest of these spawners. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a new base that hopefully is a lot more secure. So that's what we're doing now. That's why I am losing a little bit of my money here. So let's do slash withdraw. 150000 or so should be enough. All right, so we got that. Are you ready? Let's give him a note. Boom. So there we go. That should be enough to finish mining up all the spawners here. And we'll see where we go from there. So he is going to head off for a while. And I'm going to hunt for a new spot to build a base. And we are going to be building a base with gangsters. If we do F, who gangsters with a Z. Because you know they're legit and serious if they spell it with a G. Uh, they've got a lot of people in their faction. They're a full big faction, which is pretty cool. Um, I allied them yesterday since he was talking to me. So we will go ahead and apparently he got all of them, which is nice. We'll go ahead and find out uh, enough place. Or uh, Sorry, I can't talk. I'm trying to reach out and do everything at the same time. Find another place and we will set up the base and that will be that. So that's nice. But yeah, so we're going to be doing a little bit something different this episode. We'll be looking for a new spot to set up a base. Um, I had told them yesterday that their base was pretty messy, but uh, <laughs> not bad. He says, I'll miss you, base. Rip base. I only knew you for a day. <laughs> Uh, but it obviously was not the most secure base and I told them that but and they did get raided. I should have raided That would have been the cheeky thing to do, but no, that's okay. Always good to hang out with friends So <laughs> we will continue down this path and see where it goes So that will be it for this little portion I'll catch you guys once I find a good spot for the base and we'll start setting up. Yeah All right, and we are back guys uh, We have found actually a little tiny base out in the middle of nowhere uh, Ducks actually found it so he called me in and said hey can we raid this thing and I said sure we took a look and we found a bunch of uh, zombie spawners inside so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to blast into them this is a pretty simple one they have essentially no defenses at all so all we have to do is sand stack this first wall up to about here or so uh, and then uh, blow a hole and then sand stack the second wall and do about the same thing again so hopefully this will be pretty easy hopefully famous last words once again pretty easy raid so we'll go ahead and get set up and we'll go from there so let's go Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, we have returned from several bad cannon attempts over there. I actually was able to break into the base. I'm probably not going to show you much of that, though, but I was way too low, and I was stacking weird, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I had made this cannon for you guys before in the raid on Kebab, so now I'm going to show you its uh, roof destruction capabilities. Uh, I did a test shot from up here, and it fired. It looks like a little too long, so I want it to be pretty much right in the middle. So I moved it back like three diagonally, as you can see there, to that piston, and it should be working okay. So let's go ahead and fire it again. Oops, we just need one more shot like this. Yes, and now it should be ready to hybrid. And this should give us the destructive power we want on the roof, which will finally break us into the base, hopefully in the right spot. So here we go. Let's put that there. All you have to do is uh, connect this bit right here. Oops. Put a bing. And that should drop, I did I put TNT in there? That will drop all four of those suspensors, hopefully right in line, right with there. So hopefully it'll fly and hybrid right in that crack. If not, well, you're not going to see this bit anyway, so hopefully it works. <laughs> what's happened there? Lag? No idea what's going on. Massive lag. Hey, we got functionality. All right, let's see what we did. Sorry if that shot wasn't great. We got uh, spun around a little bit with lag. Okay, so we're good here. So basically, I just want to stack up again until we can get a hybrid shot off. So I'm going to kind of keep firing into here and kind of see where it's stacking. And then once I get the little wedge, 
I'm probably going to hybrid every shot anyway, uh, just in case it does. Uh, until we actually start breaking some of these spawners down. Hopefully we can. So what I'm going to do, obviously, is take all the TNT out of here so we're only hybriding one at a time if indeed it does work. And we should be good to go. I think I only primed a couple of shots in here, though. I was using a power of two, so it was really easy. So let's go ahead and jack that back up, up to 10. And we'll go this guy up to 10 as well. Bada bing. All right, so now we got 10 shots. Let's see how much damage we can do. So we are going to go ahead and keep the hybrid on. Boom. So that'll shoot sand and that TNT at the same time. Let's see where it ends up. Uh, okay, lag. Oh, it actually did hybrid, but uh, we did not take out any of the spawners. I don't think. I think they're all still intact, right? Yes, indeed. All right, so we're going to keep firing, and we'll see how we do. If it's landing right in there, though, that's pretty good. So let's just keep flinging sand and the occasional TNT at it. And we are good there. I'll put the rest of this in there. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll follow this guy in. Where'd that sand drop? Oh, I think I took out... Oh, no, we actually got some spawners. Hey, look at that. Which spawners did we blow up? I don't know, but we got three of them. Great shot. Oh, it looks like we smashed a couple of those with an earlier shot, possibly. So that's good. We actually finally took some spawners from this base. Hallelujah. PV-15. We'll throw those in the stash. Boomski. Well, we moved the cannon back to, and it ended up clipping just here. It like was nicking here, and the sand was just falling in as uh, an entity and not as a projectile. So I ended up moving it up one. So we're actually back one from the original spot where we first broke in. So let's give it another shot with this uh, back one location and see what we can do. Again, I'm going to try to hybrid this one just in case, so we'll leave it on. And cross our fingers and see what happens. Oh, that was the shot we needed. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. Another spawner to add to the room. That was perfect. That landed exactly where we wanted to. Right there. That might be all we get from the spawners, though, since we've pretty much broken down our little area. But that's perfect. I'm happy with that. We got the four zombies. We will continue to fire, though, but I would not hold my breath for any more spawners. Okay. Uh, well, that's pretty much going to be it for this base. We made off with PV-15. I believe it was four, indeed, zombie spawners from there. So that's cool. We will show that to uh, Ducks once he gets back. Uh, he'll be happy that we pulled something out of this base, and so will I, frankly. Uh, I don't think we're going to go any further with this base, though. We've, uh, we've taught them a nice, valuable lesson. So that is good. So that actually might be it for the episode. We spent a lot of time trying to get into this base more than I thought. So, of course, if you guys did like it, please be sure to leave a like or comment with something down in the description. Uh, I always appreciate what you guys have to say. And as you can see, I'm happy to play with you guys if you guys uh, are on the Dream Planet and want to hang out or do some cool stuff together. We did this raid, and I'm sure we'll have more others like this. So uh, that is going to be it for me. Catch you guys later. See ya.